Yo, it's your boy Jizo back with another video. And today, man, y'all see what's on the neck, man. Y'all see what's on the neck, man. And today, and today, and today, one more time for the haters, guys. One more time for your haters, man. And today, all right, so maybe last video. Or it might have been now. I don't know which way I'm going to drop these, so who knows. Okay, so let's get into it, man. Three alternatives. Three alternatives. Three alternatives. Three alternatives to Domus. Okay? We're going to go by what we know. We know. What we know. We know the first... Well, we can't even put them in order because it's all opinion-based. So... We're not going to make it one, two, three, the best one, the that one, the that one. But we're going to go and we're just going to say them. So the first one we're going to talk about is Morzanite. Morzanite is an alternative to diamonds. Some people want to replace more, uh, replace diamonds with the Morzanite. People are going crazy about Morzanites right now. Like People are going nuts with the Morzanite right now. It's like a big thing. Um, a lot of people have them. A lot of celebrities have them. Um, it's just it's just going wild. Um, they used to be really cheap. Now they're starting to get in that middle range. They're starting to keep going up and up and up. And one day they're going to be too high to buy. So you then you're going to have to buy the diamond <laughs> at the end of the day. You know what I mean? We got to do what makes sense. So that is a... I'm going to say that is one of the popular alternatives to diamonds because, um, again, some people say that that is better than Moisin. I mean, better than diamonds. Um, am I one of those people? Yeah, I'm definitely one of those people because the thing is, on a hardness level, the diamond, sa it says that the diamond is harder. Pause. But the facts are, the facts are, Here's the facts, guys. If you burn the moissanite, it's okay. Some people might say if you burn the diamond, it's okay. It will be okay, but you might have a little something there with the moissanite you want. If you hit it with a hammer, it's going to be okay. Some people might say the diamond is going to be okay. It will be okay, but you might get some chips. So that is, you know what I mean? And plus, moissanite is close in hardness level. Um, to then you know, then the uh, the diamond is higher, so they say, but the morzanite is more durable and it can survive through a lot of things, guys. It can survive through a lot of things. Um, then the next alternative, matter of fact, let's stay on this this morzanite for a second. Um, because we 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 said the hardness level, but we didn't say that. Also, on a brightness level, the Moissanite outshines the diamond every time. Let me run that back for you. On a brightness level, the Moissanite shines, outshines the diamond every time. That's why when you hear some of these jewelers talk about Moissanite, they always say they know when they can spot the fake stuff. Probably because if their stuff is beside somebody with the Moissanite, uh, it's shining way better. I don't think that's a way that you can tell for me personally. For me personally, to them, they are jewelers. They're professional jewelers. They've been doing this a long time. I just got into this jewelry thing. Um, I'm talking about like really knowing what it's about and all that stuff. I just got into that. So maybe they can't. But what I'm saying is for people with the average ah. You're not going to tell if it's Moissanite or any other stone. You're not going to be able to tell. All you're going to know is it's fucking sparkling. That's it. Um, but Moissanite outshines diamond every time. Okay. I'm going I'm to keep it real with you. If you got smaller stones, uh, you won't be able to tell nothing. I'm, I'm going to just keep it real with you. You will not be able to tell the difference between none of them um, with the smaller stones, um, which aren't aren't certified by GIA or nothing. You know what I mean? You just got on the smaller stones. They just got to rely on that. Somebody selling them those diamonds. So there you go. Um, but that is a one side that uh, diamonds have 
uh, uh, upside that diamonds have over the morsonite is that it is actually graded by a lab that's uh, cert you know that certifies those. So you know GIA, IGI, GCal, all these guys they they grade uh, diamonds. Morsonite has the GRA, which has twenty different websites, and you know that's a downside. But they both pass the diamond test. You know what I mean? If you get a certain diamond test, it's going to tell you that it's more than that. But for the most part, all diamond testers are going to just say it is passing it's for a diamond. Okay, so now we can move on to the next alternative. Something I just discovered. Something I just discovered. Yes, I just discovered. Um, and it's crazy that I just discovered because I got a piece in there um, that has those that has it in it you know what i mean it has it in it um should i bring it out for you guys should i bring it out i'll do that okay so we're gonna bring it out for you guys um because some people have might not have seen my videos and that's gonna watch this particular video so right here Right here is zircons. These are called zircons. These are not diamonds. These are not morsonite. These are not cubic zirconia. These are zircons that's in here. Okay, and I probably should give you a better picture than this, um, because I want you to see how it shines. For some reason, the camera never picks up the shine factor on some of these things. Let me see if I can turn it. Maybe if I turn it this way, you can see the shine factor. Get out the light. Yeah, there you go. You can see it right there. You can see it. Yes, indeed. You definitely can see it right there. Okay. So, since y'all can see that, these are zircons. These things emulate diamonds as well, like, uh, perfectly. They they definitely do. Um, I'm learning about these. These can be natural. These are the... This is from the oldest stone... I'm talking about, they saying that zircons were here before trees from the oldest rock. Zircons was here before trees. It has uranium in it. Uranium, you know what I mean? Um, so, and, and it offers a lot of spiritual benefits. Spiritual benefits, you know what I mean? So when you put it on, you might be happier. You might feel more likely to accomplish something when you put them on. So that's a spiritual benefit. Uh, these stones shine great. I think I'm, I'm with it. Um, let me take it out the bag again. I like them. I, I really like them. Um, I mean, I think they look great. They're saying that the hardness level is not there. Um, if you drop it, you might break them. If you drop them, you might break them. If you drop them, you might break them. If you drop them, you might break it. That's what they're saying. I don't know. I haven't tested this out. Uh, I dropped this, but these are smaller stones. Maybe they're talking about the bigger stone. You might chip it or something like that. But the likely of you just regularly dropping it off your finger and it, it breaks is probably not the way that's going to go. Um, it's, it's definitely not the way that's going to go. Um, I don't think so, but it, it is possible. It's definitely possible that that might happen. But they shine good. They definitely... They definitely shine great. The uh, Zircons are a good shine. they double reflective. Um, again, they're saying they're soft, though. They're very, very soft. Um, but... I don't, I don't mind them. You know what I mean? I don't mind them at all. They look great to me. They hit, like they hit, hit. I don't care. As long as I'm shining, man. As long as I'm shining. I don't know about y'all. As long as I'm shining, my shit hit, hit. I don't really care what y'all talking about. You know what I mean? So, Zircons are another alternative to diamonds. Don't know too much about it. I gave you all the information. 
They shine like diamonds. They're double reflective. They are a little softer than diamonds, though, and morsonite. Now we're on to the, I call this the holy grail. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I'm going to keep it 100% real with you guys. Um, this next alternative is the most popular one. I know I, I said the Mosinite was, but this one has been it before the Mosinite, and that's Cuban Zirconia. Cuban Zirconia. Okay? Those things only have elevated since way back when. You will not tell. The difference between a diamond and a cubic zirconia, especially the smaller stones, you won't tell these days. I'm telling you, you will not. When I say you won't tell, you won't tell. You'll be like, wow, you serious? And I'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's crazy. They, I'm not too sure on, you know, nothing about the cubic zirconia, how hard it is, pause. I don't know none of all that shit. I don't. It doesn't really matter. It's a cubic zirconia. It's the most cheapest thing that you can buy. Um, everything is not cheap. Um, meaning that, uh, you know, how you build it might not be cheap. But when you add those, those stones are cheap. So if you get them loosely, they're cheap. But they have different stones. They have 4A, 3A, 5A, 7A. <laughs> These stones are getting great. And you know why they're getting great? Because they all, which they already was made in the lab, but they're made better as technology evolves. So now it's doing its job perfectly. So now we can say that is really a lab diamond. Let's keep it real. That is really a lab diamond. Now all they got to do is put something on it to make it pass the diamond test. And it is a lab diamond because it shines. It is meant to Im Im imitate a diamond and now they've done such a great job that you will not tell the difference between a cuban zirconia a cz and a diamond they've done a great job and me i wear like i wear the diamonds i wear the morsonite i wear the zircons and I'll wear the Cuban Sacconi. It doesn't matter to me. I like jewelry. So if you make a good piece of jewelry, I'm wearing it. I don't care what it's made of. You know what I mean? I don't care what it's made of. Silver. I'm a silver guy. Uh, I like silver. I can do gold as well. I can do gold as well. So, but my point is, Cuban Sacconia has come so far that you will not be able to tell so then you have to and this is see i'm answering my own questions because i want to ask jewelers why they don't use the lab diamonds but this is another reason why they might not use the lab diamonds is because what is a cz it's made in the lab it's meant to emulate diamonds and it's technically a lab diamond wow see this is crazy like i always do some groundbreaking things and all that and this is probably why they don't use lab Created diamonds. But I say if they came from the GIA, if they came from the IGI, if they came from the GK, lab diamonds are official. Um, so I said three alternatives, but now we're back to another one because again, I'm saying diamonds, but lab diamonds are alternatives to natural diamonds. So those things really look like a diamond because it is. And it's nothing really to elaborate on that. So you got four alternatives to diamonds. You got four. Um, and they're all good. You choose your poison. I'm going to pick them all because I like jewelry. Um, I don't know if you do, but I do. This thing ain't be hitting, but I tell you, this thing be hitting too. I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah, man, it is what it is. But that's been my video. Again, guys, I know people might. Some people watch to the end. Some people don't. Some people can't. Ha they all have the attention span to stay to the end. But if you did, you know to like, share, subscribe. You also know that I'm doing promo deals all summer. Um, you also know that if you want to promote yourself on 
my platform, this YouTube channel. You just message me on Instagram. Also, if you want to promote yourself on a bigger scale, uh, message me as well because I have some friends that will promote you for a fee, of course. Um, also, just get at me. Anything that you want, anything that you want, go check out the website, thatguyjizo.com. The vendors list is on sale. Um, cop it, buy it. The watches will be back soon. Um, I'm thinking I'm taking it to the next level with the watches. So, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. But, guys, I'm out. Oh, thank you for watching, man. I really appreciate you. Everybody who's sending great and positive energy and support me every video, I literally appreciate you so much. Um, I'm thankful. I appreciate it, man. I just appreciate you guys, man. <laughs> I just appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, and I was going to end it, but to you haters, man, I appreciate you too. You comment, your comments help me stay in this algorithm, 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 in the algorithm, <laughs> algorithm, it helps me. So keep commenting. There's a few of you guys who comment on every video. Appreciate you guys. You are my number one supporters. Thank you. Well, number two. You're my number two supporters, not number one. Because my number ones is these guys that actually really like the content and want to support. They're number one. They know they're number one. But you guys are important to keep hating and actually just keep hating. You know what I mean? Don't jump out a window. And then now I don't want you to hurt yourself. But if you choose to, I wouldn't mind. No. <laughs> I'm out, man. I'm out. Peace.